Hey everybody, I just wanted to say hello and welcome to my channel. This is the Trippy Hippie Paint Works Shop. Just wanted to give everybody a big welcome. It's my first video, so I'm going to do my best, okay? I'm new to a lot of this stuff. So bear with me, be patient, and I really hope you enjoy the show. This is my wall of eclectic thoughts I guess you could say this is where I've started hanging all my things as I go these are a couple of just experiments the top one is actually a cover-up I was just bored and didn't like what I had there this is a painting I've titled something wicked this way comes it just looks as though there's this screaming demon's face or something coming down towards you. Below it, you have a recent uh, one I did uh, over the past few weeks titled Ambrosia. Above that, you have one of my real... It's, it's a personal favorite of mine. It was just fun to make. I named him Jack. Jack was done using fluorescence with crafting paste to actually give him dimension and make him literally leap off of the canvas and come to life. I accented all of his detailing with fluorescence and neons. The entire background is layered in various colored neons and colored with candy corns made from fluorescence as well and the candy wrappers that you'll see scattered about with the candies in them are actually made from paint that I let dry and then formed using aluminum foil into those wrappers. I then froze paint in um, a silicone mold and once it was frozen, I placed those in the candies after adhering the candies to the canvas using paint and let them thaw and set. And it came out, as you can see, I hope, pretty cool. Down here, you have I'm Batman. No, I am Bane. I was just bored and thinking, you know, Bane's pretty cool, but so is Batman. So, yeah, <laughs> I get bored sometimes. This is one I made called Unicorn Tears. Everybody says it somewhat uh, resembles a uh, fern. So, yeah. Up here, you have another personal favorite titled Sunflower. And this, it literally took over a thousand swipes of my knife to make that and it came out I think beautifully just beautifully I'm really hoping that I can get some of these to sell soon an experiment here just something I was tinkering with and let's see you can't see it but below it is actually one my daughter made for daddy to look at up here you have what I was attempting to make was a oriental dragon of sorts, and uh, I think I pulled it off. Over here, you have another that I really enjoy looking at. It was sort of my take on religious institutions and the state of decay, how the church is just falling apart. Um, if you see it in the daylight, it actually has a shattered uh, stained glass look behind it. Down here, you have the stalker. And again, it has a even creepier appearance in normal light. You see the stalker just a little bit clearer. This is one I made when I was having a medical procedure coming up and I was going through a lot so it was just something personal up above it you have one I've titled the Lich King if you see in the upper left you'll see him just standing there staring at you 
Then you have the Spartan. Everybody knows the Spartans. Down here is one I've titled Adara's Rose. There's actually a story to it. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime. I am a bit of a storyteller for those that know me. Another one I'm experimenting with, if you see it under the normal light, it has an alternate effect as well. Giving you a uh, different image of sorts. This is one my wife and I are experimenting on. We're going to create a fire waterfall. And it's to show her that I believe anybody can paint as long as they really just want to. And then you can't see what's below it, but it's a couple of my earliest paintings. And yeah, I'll have to show those to you guys sometime too. And this is a much bigger view of the garage that I've converted into the workshop for all of this. This is all the paintings I'm working on and have completed that aren't blacklight reactive. This is a very personal one to me. Um, it's another one maybe I'll tell you the story to someday. Here you have Lost in the Woods. The white behind it. The white in it, if you look, it actually blends with the various colors to form the trees. Yeah, what I'm experimenting on here, different techniques that I'm trying. Another experiment. Up there, you have another one that I just adore. I love that I did. I call it Planted Earth. Yeah. Then you have the Sea of Red. It's sort of a statement on what we're kind of dealing with now. Then you have Hands Up, Don't Shoot. Not trying to start any political debates or anything. It's just this one is another one really personal to me. And a little bit of watermelon. Don't ask. <laughs> then you have my first painting. This is Rena. It's both oil and acrylic. And it was my first real attempt at painting. It took about two years to complete before I was satisfied with it, you could say. I've used a lot of different colors and techniques and whatnot. And then you have the one that just makes me smile every time. And I named this one the bend because it just sort of bends reality. It blended three different landscapes into one. It's just something about it just makes me smile. So that's my workshop. So that's my workshop, everybody. Um, nothing impressive, but it's mine. I call it home. I love coming out here and doing what I do. It's, it's my therapy. It, it gets me by. I hope that you guys enjoyed what I do. And... I hope this video at least entertained you a bit and you saw something cool and new. If you like what you saw, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. You guys know the deal. You know, everybody does this. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to go, mm, all right, guys. Hey, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for paying attention. All the support, you know, I, I appreciate all of you. I really do. I, I couldn't have gotten any of this done without that support and it's been a rough ride there's been some breakdowns and stuff but we're gonna get there and hopefully this will be the first in a long line of videos to come from the trippy hippie paint works and you know maybe i'll bring some friends along for the ride introduce you to the gang and if you are interested in maybe some 
videos on how I do what I do or maybe, you know, coming up with some ideas for something, definitely let me know. You know, hit me in the comments. Um, I look forward to hearing from you guys and I will let you go.